Hey guys, so we have a mysterious Twitter teaser hint here. It says new fighter, and then we have Legends Festival as a hashtag on here. Um, this is definitely unexpected. I don't think anybody here thought they were going to uh, release a hint here. Um, now, before we even get into speculating as to what this could be, I just want to just quickly point out, if we scroll up to their pinned tweet, this is talking about UI Goku, the final summonable character for Legends Festival. So because this is branded as being a Legends Festival sort of related character coming out, we know this is not going to be summonable. So right away, you don't have to... Uh, you know, be nervous or, you know, start panicking that you're not going to have enough CC to summon for this character because this should be a free character. So that's good. And honestly, if they actually did release a fourth banner for Legends Fest, that would at that point would would, would just be too much, in my opinion. So I'm kind of glad they're they're not doing another banner. But uh, this is going to be a free to play character. And the teaser itself is uh, what appears to be a clock that is uh fastly spinning i guess time is going by and then we have a bunch of uh z's that are appearing throughout the video which obviously is uh, referencing that somebody is sleeping and we have the clock going through multiple days here uh and the whoever is sleeping is still sleeping and one other point that i think is relevant as well is uh the z's are purple they again I, I i always say this they always choose everything in these videos with a reason with a purpose these hints um so the z's are purple the clock itself is gold um and other than that i don't really think there's much there, there, there's much other details we can sort of look into that's pretty much all that's happening here so multiple days are going by uh what is that three Basically, four days go by throughout this entire hint based off of how many times the, the hour hand spins around the entire clock and the Z's are still coming. So um, because this is a Legends Festival branded reveal um, and obviously we just got Ultra UI Goku here, it's probably going to be some character that has some sort of relevance in some way to UI Goku. Whether it's going to be they share a tag or thematically they're similar, I don't know. Um, but I, I'm just trying to sit here and like, what are the options here? What what characters are even possibilities that this could be for? I think the most obvious one, I'll just mention the most obvious one right away, is, is Beerus. Um, Beerus obviously is a character that sleeps for a very, very, very long time. And um, I actually, let, I'll be right back because I'm going to pull up an image of him sleeping. I believe his like bed or whatever he sleeps in is actually gold which would make sense if they chose gold for the clock but let me give me one second yeah so here we are i mean gold definitely does have some sort of meaning here with beerus i mean he sleeps in this like gold bed here's different angles of it it's a circle it looks like it could be a clock i mean the outside of this clock definitely looks like it could be uh you know beerus's bed here um here's another shot where the outside could be seen as that um, and then notice also how in this hint, the uh, Z's are coming from different parts of the of the, the clock too, which could represent Beerus shifting around. Like, like look at, he's in this position, and then he wakes up, he's in this position. So that could be like him snoring from here at one point, and then he's, he's shifting around, he's snoring from here, then here. Like, I, I really think there's like a, 80% plus chance, maybe even 90% plus chance, this is just going to end up being some kind of Beerus character. Uh, we'll see how they end up doing this, but in terms of who else this could be for, the only other character that really comes to mind, I mean, I guess there's two possibilities here. So, um, Super Boo, uh, maybe. Super Boo was sleeping in the hyperbolic time chamber, which I guess could be what this is for, but probably not. Um, and then the other character is uh, Fat Boo. Right. Of course, we have multiple instances of uh, Fat Boo now falling asleep for days at a time. Right. He falls asleep and he can't participate in the Universe 6 versus 7 tournament. And then he does the same exact thing for the Tournament of Power. Right. He falls asleep and can't participate because he can't be woken up. And again, he sleeps for a long, long time. Long period. Not as long as Beerus, but long periods of time, of course. 
So that could be what this is for, but I, do I... <laughs> It, to me, I mean, it seems pretty clear that it is going to be some kind of Beerus. Um, so, which would also make sense in terms of thematics with this UI Goku, because of course, this UI Goku uh, reps of Universe 7. I imagine, um, I imagine Beerus would actually probably be on Universe reps, right? I think the blue is the, yeah, blue Beerus is on Universe reps here. Um, so he would be on Universe reps as well. And obviously he'd be on God Key with this Goku as well. And um, they do have, Beerus watching on as UI Goku fights in the Tournament of Power. So I, I think all the pieces do fit together pretty well to come to the conclusion that this is probably going to be some kind of event exclusive Beerus character. As long as they make whatever this is going to be event exclusive, which is what it seems like it's going to be, as long as they make this event exclusive character just as good, as useful, as valuable as that Red, Red Ribbon Army Piccolo character, that's good enough. I think that Red Ribbon Army Piccolo character, like, yeah, you're not going to see him in top rank PvP because he's not a summonable unit. But I, I feel like you can you can get away with using him in top rank PvP. Like, he could still be a pretty important character on your team. He could be a pretty vital asset. He um, provides a lot of different mechanics and tools that, that are going to help you win the fight. Um, so if they are able to capture the same value with a free-to-play Beerus character, that could be interesting. Now, I don't... I don't know if this hint specifically is going to be referencing the abilities the character has, but I guess it could be funny if they give us some kind of like sleeping Beerus. Like, how would they even do that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, now, one other thing I will talk about as well is I think there actually is a pretty high chance that this could be a free to play character that has new animations. We saw this with the, the again, the Red Ribbon Army Piccolo has new animations. He's got a new model that outfit is new of course um and i think you know getting a a, a new free-to-play character like uh pui pui as well who also had new animations on release like that does feel like it has a lot more uh, i guess resources and time and uh love poured into them as opposed to just like you know like the, the most recent free-to-play character we got which is the green final form frieza which is literally just a copy and paste of a 2018 character from like the third week of the game ever being released. Like they literally copy and pasted the OG yellow final form Frieza and that's what we got as the free to play character. Um, it would be nice if for the final, this is obviously gonna be the final new character, summonable or non-summonable that we're gonna be getting during 2023. It would be nice if they weren't just a copy and paste. So if it is going to be a Beerus, maybe give us some kind of new animation. Doesn't have to be crazy. Doesn't have to be like this ridiculous LF worthy animation, but at least something different that, you know, it would be it would be nice to end the year off on a good note. Uh, because I, I honestly, I, I'm confident in saying that I think this has been the best year for the game. I think 2023 has been Legend's best year ever yet. So it would be nice to uh, end on a high note as uh, December comes to a close here and we head into 2024. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this hint. Do you guys also think that there's like a 90% chance this is going to be some kind of Beerus character? Again, I will just reiterate that because we have this official tweet saying that Ultra UI Goku is the final summonable character for Legends Festival. I mean, this unless they straight up are lying about this. Oh, we just got a new tweet here. Unless they're straight up lying about this in this tweet, then this is 100% a free-to-play unit. So I I'm just going to be assuming that it's a free-to-play character, which is fine. Just make him somewhat valuable and good and uh, unique in some way. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think of this hint, and I will see you all in the next one.